Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on the new candle from Kringle Candle, Beautiful Day. This candle was sent to me by Kringle. This is in the large jar and it is 100% soy. If you did not know already, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, so I do have an affiliate discount code in my description box below, which will save you 15% extra on your order. Now, that code will sometimes not apply to all offers they have. Like if it's a really, really good offer, sometimes it doesn't stack, but most of the time with sale candles or sale pricing, it does stack. So if you're interested in even some of the sale candles, it can save you even more money, which is awesome. Um, Cause even I use um, codes because I also want to save a little bit of money. So and they're good candles so it's like a win-win you get a good candle and a good deal so all links and what have you are in my description box as always for anything I ever talk about in videos or accessories or anything like that so definitely check that out this candle is new to their spring and summer line this will come in or this does come in I should say a daylight wax melt a medium jar, a large jar, both in 100% soy, and the three wick soy blend. So if you are interested in any of those options, they are still available on the Kringle Candle website to purchase. The notes on this candle are lemon, guava, cyclamen, sugarcane, pink tulip, jasmine, apricot, amber, and vanilla cream. When I smell this on cold, it really reminded me of Bath and Body Works, Beautiful Day, and Hello Beautiful kind of mixed into one, but remove the perfumey elements. And you just get this soft, fruity, with a hint of floral kind of note or smell to it. I was not expecting this to be a powerhouse. I was not expecting this to blow me out of the house or rip my paint off with how strong it is because the way it just was on cold I was like this is not this is not going to be very strong now with that being said this is probably now my fifth burn of this um because I was gonna record this video yesterday but I forgot so and I did burn it yesterday so this is I think my fifth burn now of it and I can smell it in my office space, which is a, a normal bedroom size because it's technically supposed to be a bedroom, but it's technically my office. Um, I've had this going, you know, four plus hours. It's reaching about the four hour mark now. And it is consistent. When I'm saying consistent, I mean when I burned this at first, it was like that the second burn, the third burn, and so on. I. I'm starting to understand that with Kringle that when you burn it the first time you know exactly what you're getting and what the candle is going to give you that first burn it doesn't change midway it doesn't you know get different or anything like that it is what the candle is and I actually kind of appreciate that because I'm like oh what am I going to get this burn it's very consistent as you see the wax pool is very clean the weird like shadowing that you see on the candle is not soot it is for sure my lighting um because i have like a lot of lighting going on just because it's obviously very dark outside so i needed a good some good light to show the candle off so that is not soot these candles i have not had a single one soot on me because of the 100 percent soy it's clean all the way down the flames are dancing a little bit but that it just doesn't bother me. Um, the wicks are self trimming wicks, so they are kind of leaning a little bit, like just a smidge. So I'd probably like blow this out or I wick dip mine out personally and probably get that. There's like a little mushroom on there, like the very tiniest little mushroom. So that's the only thing that I'd probably do. But other than that, this candle is pretty much you light it and you enjoy it. There's nothing you really have to babysit on. It doesn't get crazy. Like, 
I've had zero issues with these candles. I can literally light it, enjoy it for the day, and just leave it at that. The label is also stunning. I want this picture, like this label, blown up in a huge framed print so I can hang it in my office. I love how vibrant and spring this label is. And it really makes the name Beautiful Day make sense. Because when I look at the label, I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be like a fresh, floral, like nice spring kind of day. And that's exactly what this candle gives. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being completely scentless and 10 being knock you out of the house, I give this a 5, maybe a 6. Because I can smell it. I'm not going to be... Just because, just because I can smell it in one room, I'm not going to give it like... Oh my gosh, this candle is so strong so I can smell in one room. I give it a five, maybe six, because I can smell it in my room. Like, I can sit here right now and I'm smelling it. Um, I'm smelling the pink tulip. I smell the guava and the lemon. And then I get a little bit of that apricot and then the amber comes in as like a base note at the very end that I can smell. And it leaks kind of into my hallway a little bit. But is it filling up my bedroom or my office area through the living room? No. I have to walk in the room to smell it. So if you're looking for a candle that will make a room smell nice, like a bedroom, for example, this would be a great candle. I'm not disappointed in it per se, but this candle would be like a one and done um, kind of scent for me personally. So if you're looking for, actually, before I end this, if you're looking for a candle that would be a good candle to have when you have guests come over, I think this would be a great candle because it's not overly strong. Because fruitiness and floral, like fruity floral kind of candles sometimes, to me at least, can be very, very strong. Um, and a lot of people have allergies and stuff during the spring. So I really think this would be a great guest coming over, family coming over kind of candle um, because it smells just one room and it's not overbearing. So if you're interested in those, check this out on the Kringle Candle website. Make sure you use my discount code that's in the description box below to save you some money. If you are not already, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Um, turn your notification bell on to know, be notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys in the next video.